33,000 signed petitions were delivered to the Department of Justice by the parents of Amarley Graham, the 18-year-old boy who was shot and killed two years ago in his home when NYPD officer Richard Hayes entered his house without a warrant. Ramarley's family, along with supporters, are demanding the DOJ launches a full investigation of his case. And we're going to march right around the corner to the Department of Justice building. The family is going to go inside to deliver their petition. The rest of us are going to stand up on the steps outside the Department of Justice building. And we're going to hold a rally right there. Hold it in support of them as they go inside. We're going to make sure that the whole building is taken while they're in there delivering those, uh, those petitions, right? Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Hands up, don't shoot! Now it's time to say we need a new system. We need a new way of protecting our community and keeping our community safe because it's clear that the police department and our criminal justice department has done a poor job at keeping our community safe. So now it's time for us to come together and figure out what's the alternative to the NYPD and to the criminal justice system in this country as a whole. Thank you, and we are glad that we have a meeting with them. It's 30 days. 30 days, no, no, not a day after that, 30 days, because we, we want answers, we can't have no more Ramali, we can't have no more Gardner, we can't have no more Mike Brown, it stops here, That's right. we have to stop with us. Yeah. 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 Many other families who have lost loved ones due to police brutality have been left in the dark with no answers. It is time for the police to be held accountable for their actions. It's not just limited to New York City, but there are so many cases that are just kind of thrown out the window. Um, and that's so symbolic of what this country's criminal justice system kind of um, thinks and feels about black and brown bodies. Um, black, young, and brown male bodies, it's, it makes a huge statement um, about how far we've come or how far we have not come as a criminal justice system. So um, I think this is a good chance to to give like uh, tangible accountability like, to the community from uh, law enforcement.